Okay, so we have a dog that is, uh, Banjo is not very happy that I'm here. He growled and he tried to engage his flight mode. Um, one of the things I did is I'm practicing a t concept right now called flooding. So I have him on a leash and I'm stepping on the leash to prevent him from running away. Generally, Banjo kind of goes several feet away from the people and growls and then kind of hides behind a couch or the person or the person's legs. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So he's disagreeing. He's communicating. I don't, I didn't give you permission to be here. I don't want you to be here. I want you to leave. But he doesn't, he's not confident. So he's not coming and challenging the person. He's just growling in a kind of an insecure way. So um, what I'm doing with this technique is I don't want to, if I let him move about, the more that they move around, typically the more aroused they get and the more intense their reaction gets. And so uh, I'm guessing he would kind of growl from, you know, maybe over there and then maybe you'll move over there and move over there. If I got up, he would kind of growl and kind of, sh you know, you mentioned yeah. that he likes to follow or shadow people. So he's like, I don't trust you and I'm going to keep my eye on you. So all I'm doing is, you know, we don't want, uh, I asked earlier if you like to, if guests try to pet him to teach him that, hey, I'm a good person, which we definitely don't want to do because anything you do or any state of mind the dog is in when we pet it is what we're reinforcing. So a lot of people, when their dog is like this, maybe they don't have the, hum the guests do it, but the humans, uh, the guardians pick up the dog and pet the dog and say, it's okay, this is you know, Danny, we like Danny, or whatever it is. Um, so laying down is actually a good sign. Um, he was really quivering. He was, he was as far away from me on the leash as he possibly could when I first put him on the tether. And uh, he's still practicing avoidance, but laying down shows that he's a little bit more comfortable. Now, his body language is very awkward, so I can tell he is not comfortable with me, but he is more comfortable before because I'm not trying to pet him or engage with him. There's nothing bad that's happening. Essentially, all I want him to do right now is practice being near a human without anything bad happening. Um, so this is something that I would suggest you do when you have guests, if you have guests who are accommodating for that, if the guest is not, uh, and this would be better for guests who are not super boisterous or loud. If the person is too vocal, that's going to probably, I mean, you probably have noticed that's more of a trigger for him. If the person is local or vocal or moves around a lot. Um, and so when dogs bite and nip ankles, like you mentioned, um, that's usually a way of trying to correct. It's not being aggressive. It's aggressive. They're trying to go higher. To do some damage nipping the ankles is like hey I disagree so um, just simply having him practice being near humans would be uh, would be very beneficial for him all right so this is uh, the initial evaluation of banjo what do you say banjo you are such a pretty dog we got to build up your confidence buddy <laughs>